this week on Way of the Master. My name is Anthony Martin, and I'm a professional escape artist. My interest in escapes actually began through the art of magic. I received a magic set at the age of 10 for Christmas, and I played with that for a while. I quickly became disappointed with the fact that everything was a trick. It really wasn't what it appeared to be, and I wanted to be able to do something real. And that's how I became interested in locks and how to open them without keys. And I found that it really is possible to open real locks and handcuffs just by simply understanding how they work. The distinction I make between a magician and an escape artist is a magician makes things appear like they're happening, while an escape artist, a true one anyway, actually can escape from real handcuffs, locks, and straitjackets just by using skill. Well, this is part of my handcuff and jail lock collection. By understanding how the locks work in the handcuffs, if I'm ever put into a situation where I need to escape from a pair of these, I already understand the lock. I've been called upon to escape from ropes, chains, handcuffs, straight jackets, jail cells, safes, vaults. I mean, you name it. Anything you can put a man in, I've escaped from. A couple jail doors from escapes that I've performed. This would be a solitary confinement cell. These are all high security handcuffs from all over the world. This is one of the panels from the box out of the airplane stunt that I did back in 1988. The skydiving escapes uh, tend to be the ones that I like the best because of the fact there's no margin for error. You have to be on your A game the entire time. There's no second chances. The scariest memory I have performing escapes was when I was locked in a water-filled barrel and it took over three minutes for me to escape. Now, normally that same escape only takes about one minute, but I had underestimated the lock and I was also quite young at the time, so inexperience was really the cause of that. At the end of Houdini's life, he tried to answer the question, what happens after we die? Well, as a young boy growing up, I found the answer. In finding that I was a sinner, as exposed by God's law through his word, and finding salvation through the finished work of Christ, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, I found the answer to what happens after we die. And the scripture says that death has been abolished by the Lord Jesus. I know the truth has revealed to me through his word, I have to share that with other people. I've been a Sunday school teacher for over 15 years, adult Sunday school, and I found the Living Waters materials to be an excellent resource in order to teach people how to share their faith. It's doctrinally sound, it's easy to understand, I found it to be invaluable. The method I deal with fear when performing escapes is the same method that Christians can actually use in their fear of witnessing. Paul, in speaking to Timothy, said to study to show thyself approved. Not only will studying God's word help you to rightly divide the word of truth, but it will also help to build your faith, because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, and faith will give you boldness. And then make it a habit or a custom. When I do escapes, I perform them over and over again so that I become desensitized to those fears. The same is true with evangelism. If we go out and evangelize and make it a habit or a custom, we can squash those fears beneath our feet until we get to the point where we fearlessly and boldly can go share our faith. Fear can be conquered and perfect love casts out fear and we have the perfect love as demonstrated at the cross of Calvary. TV and streaming listings available at wayofthemaster.com.